Welcome to World of Fusion. This is part 2 of PCC assembly. If you haven't watched part 1, please watch it through the link in description. Currently we are doing crankshaft. So without further ado, let's get started. Fine. Make sure you got the tangents. So for this line and this curve, we got one tangent. And for this curve and this curve, we got a tangent. And between these two curves, we got a tangent. And here we did not got tangent. Here, here we got the tangent, but here we did not got tangent. So what you can do is you control select these two curves that is line and this curve select tangent. So now these two are applied with a tangent. I'm going to press escape. Perfect. And last thing I would like to do is this curve. So small fillet I would like to create. Yes, fine. So you can see the tangent applied here automatically. If you if it not apply, you select the curves and you apply the tangent using the constraints. All right. Now let me provide the dimensions dimension sketch dimension set the curve and this dimension is it is uh, clearly visible in the sketch 9 mm okay do not worry about the size scaling so we will correct it later so this dimension is 3.5 mm you can see 3.5 mm and uh, first I am going to give only smaller dimension then I will come to the bigger dimension. So here I have 10 mm again and 10 mm or I can select this one to take the dimensions because these both are same. I would like to reference this. Yes, whenever I change this one this will automatically get changed so changing it back to 10 mm fine so this 10 we have given this 10 we have given now let us come to the bigger ones so here 21 we have 55 mm and this dimension is 10 mm Okay, nice. And uh, we have one more dimension that is here, 58 mm. The construction line length, this is 58 mm. Okay, fine. So now it's time to mirror it. So if I expand my crankshaft, I have bodies, canvas, sketches created. If I expand canvas, I'm going to hide it. Okay. So now select mirror and the mirror object is this profile. I just double clicked on it and it picked entire profile. The mirror line is construction. Now say OK. Fine, we got uh, this curve mirrored onto the other side. Let's create this curve. Create arc, three point arc. And I would like to show my canvas. So, first point second point and final point fine so i have given this curve so now the curve radius b 60 mm
let me give one uh, some more dimensions with this curve so i would like to create one point here so that i can give dimensions from this point to this line create point i would like to click here and make sure that dimension is horizontal with the origin so one point on the origin and i would like to select this one okay uh, already it applied the constraint then there is no need to worry make sure that this point is vertical to this origin pressing escape to get rid of that constraint now dimension and the distance from this point to the line b 55 mm and from this point to origin b 55 mm so as you see here the tangency is not applied okay after we created a this curve the tangency for uh, uh, smaller curve and the bigger curve is not applied so i'm going to press escape to get rid of the dimension select these two curves apply tangency now it's good okay i'm going to hide my canvas and one last dimension is uh, 58 okay so we will give you that and then we will hide it so dimension this point and this point uh, the distance uh, distance is 58 mm hide the canvas okay there's a lot of dimensions there so make sure you uh, give you enough attention and uh, uh, provide the dimensions carefully because it will mess up your geometry and this is very very important so after you got all these dimensions we are we need to use this sketch to create the web so you have to be very careful in uh, giving these dimensions and uh, you should follow the rules that i told you then only you will get the perfect sketch you may have different rules if you know those rules you can apply so as far as i am concerned about the sketch so i like these rules like creating this uh, one sketch first and then mirroring it and giving the smaller dimensions first and then uh, uh, bigger dimensions later okay this, so this is the workflow that i follow if you have any specific workflow for you you can follow that there is nothing wrong yes we are done with the sketch now i would like to finish switching to home view now you can see we got the web profile so we need to extrude this click on extrude profile and support also i would like to select so make sure you select our inner profile and extrude it about 6.5 mm and here make sure it is join and say okay see we got the web profile this is all for this video and in the upcoming videos we are going to do a couple of sketches and extrudes then we'll finish it off with a crankshaft see you in the next video thank you for watching stay tuned